Hello and welcome to Rotted Review of the Day. And today I kind of wanted to just provide another quick little update here uh, about uh, the life situation we're going through as well as the state of the channel and the future of the channel and uh, reviews coming up and so on and so forth. The last video I made was kind of a handheld shot where I basically just announced that because of a lot of things going on in my life, there was just not enough of me left. Uh, so I had to put some things on hold, including, uh, some of the review videos I was doing. Um, so where we wound up with that is, uh, well, first of all, the car accident that I was in was difficult. And to be honest, I'm still recovering from it. Um, one foot is still more swollen than the other. I have to wear my laces looser and, uh, so on. So I've been, uh, focusing on recovery with that. Uh, my shoulder is still pretty janked up and it's hard to sleep consistently through the night, uh, without a, you know, a, a pillow propped up, uh, with my neck and so on. Uh, but for the most part, uh, you know, things are definitely, even though it's a very slow recovery, the recovery is definitely making headway. So, uh, just keep it on going with that and, you know, working on, you know, my diet as far as like, you know, anti-inflammatory and getting the swelling down in my foot and so on and so forth. I got my special little green machine concoction here to help with that. Um, so, uh, but the, the principal thing I think that was going on that was causing me to be stretched way too thin was we're in the process of buying a house and we're very excited about it. Uh, for one reason in particular for me is, uh, recording these videos, uh, recording these videos and in the situation I'm in. And if you've watched this channel consistently throughout the, ins, uh, you know, course of rotted reviews, you may recognize that a lot of my earlier reviews were taking place in a different location, different room. And what happened there was some friends of mine got into a difficult situation and they needed a place to stay. So I told them, you know, come on, come on down to my place, you know, move in here and, uh, I'll, I'll move my office out of that room. And now I'm, uh, downstairs in my dining room. And that's where I've been recording ever since. This is actually underneath a uh, loft bed. Uh, you may notice uh, this in the frame sometimes here. This is just the upper part of the bunk bed and my desk is underneath and it's just storage up the top here. It's just a loft bed frame and that's what I record under, like tucked in a corner of my dining room. Um, and it's more out of necessity than anything else, but um, you know, happy to do it, always happy to help friends and so on. And, you know, it's just a mild, uh, you know, not even an inconvenience, just, just a shuffling of, uh, life situations. Um, but one thing it does do is it makes recording quite, kind of difficult. Uh, first of all, I have to wait until everybody's either asleep or out of the house. Cause I really feel bad asking everybody, you know, like, please be quiet for the next 30 minutes. Don't make a noise so that it's not picked up on, you know, camera, you know, turn down your TV so that I'm not winding up with, you know, songs coming down, uh, the stairs and so on and, you know, getting copyright dinged or anything like that. It, you know, I feel like I'm putting my, my roommates and that's not a situation I like to be in. So I have a very finite window in which to record and it's tough to just, um, you know, like, Hey, I want to record, you know, middle of the afternoon on a Saturday. So I'll sit down in the chair and record. I can't do that. I have to find this particular window right now, as I'm talking, everybody's still asleep upstairs and I'm hoping that I can finish this video before I start hearing rustling around. Um, uh, so there's that as well as we have a lot of pets. <laughs> we are a, uh, zoological menagerie in here. We have five cats and it's difficult for me to record even if it's not picked up on the microphone it's distracting for me audibly to hear them <laughs> chasing each other around uh you know running up and down the stairs and so on and so forth i can hear that and it's tough for me to continue a conversation and likewise we also have uh three ferrets uh, a whole host of guinea pigs and they're right in the next room and uh, i can hear them scratching and so on it, it's it's an audibly distracting situation so even if everybody's asleep and so on um uh, it's tough for me to get through a single take of a review without having to make cuts because I lose my focus. Uh, just like, you know, the cats will be chasing each other. I'm like, um, so just for me and making these videos, I'm really looking forward to buying this house. Uh, the one we've been looking at, we made an offer on, it was accepted. Huzzah. Uh, and we're in the closing process. We had the inspection done, the, uh, you know, all, all this other stuff. And, uh, you know, we got financing approved and we're in the closing stages of 
the buying this house and we've already picked out what room I want to be in my recording studio uh, where I'll have my office and so on and so forth and I'll be able to close my door that's going to be super exciting to have a door to close <laughs> and uh, record these videos whenever I like so that's going to make this a lot easier um, and uh, Fortunately, now we're at the point where, uh, well, th this is the point in which I left off the last video. It was like, there was just so much. And I had never bought a house before. This is my first house, and I had no idea. I, I knew it would be complicated, but I had no idea how complicated it would be, especially going through what I'm going to be going through, which is FHA financing. There's just so much involved in terms of paperwork and phone calls and keeping up on things and getting financial records together and so on and so forth. It's been a hectic crazy mess but um for the most part we're past that now and it's out of my hands uh you know everything's been approved and now it's just going to take time and the lawyers are doing their thing in the back end and um you know the appraisal reports and so on and so forth so um uh, there's a process that has to take place within 30 days of cl uh, the actual close date and we got word just recently that that is scheduled for May 21st. So we know now that uh, we're not going anywhere uh, for three to seven weeks because it can't, you know, we can't go anywhere until this is done. Uh, we can't close until this is done. And then it has to take place. The closing has to take place 30 days after that or within that time frame. So anywhere between three and seven weeks. So now, now we have something that we can plan around. Now I know that the next three weeks are fairly open to me, uh, to, you know, plan my life. And that makes things a lot easier. That lifted a lot of burden on there, uh, just removing that uncertainty. So, uh, knowing that I'm going to be starting the reviews back up. I've already watched a couple of horror films. I'm going to be making notes today and recording tomorrow. Um, so I'm looking forward to getting that started back up. There's a few other little projects I kind of want to do. Um, one of which is related to this channel and uh, it's not a review but it's something a little special a little bit different and it's probably going to take me a little while to uh, write out the script and you know do the recording and editing it's going to be a lot of post-production work but it's something kind of special and i hope you like it i'm i'm looking forward to doing it it's an idea i've had for a while and uh, i'm looking forward to unveiling that when the time comes but um yeah i mean long story short long video short uh you know tldr uh, the, the reviews are going to be starting back up and they're going to be starting back up real quick. Um, I mean, it's probably not going to be a consistent five days a week. It's probably, and I'm probably not going to adhere to themed days. Uh, I'm just going to shoot from the cuff and try to just get out whatever reviews I can under the constraints that I'm in with my life right now. Um, but I don't want to hold off any longer. I feel like I've held off too long as it is. And I want to start making videos again. Um, Fortunately, my channel is somewhat uh, archival. Uh, you know, it's not so the kind of thing where uh, I'm never going to hit, uh, you know, the newest trending thing and people are going to be watching for the latest rotted review. I mean, if you do, that's fantastic and hats off to you for it. And I really appreciate it. Um, but for the most part, it's going to be, you know, somebody sees a movie on Shudder. They want to look it up and hey, what's a rotted review of it. That's my uh, lofty goal of this channel is to become an archival repository of uh, horror movie reviews for horror movie lovers to fall back on. Um, and given that uh, th the channel has held true and, you know, you know, 200 some odd videos I've done, uh, the community has continued on in my absence and, uh, you know, left me notes and comments and, uh, you know, subs uh, new subscribers. And I'm very super grateful for that. Uh, another thing I'm going to start doing is uh, thanking by name my Patreon supporters. I think that's an important thing to do. Uh, I only have two right now, and I'm very grateful for those two. Uh, but I kind of want to start making that a little bit more public as far as my appreciation of whomever signs up and supports me on Patreon. I only have one tier, and that is $1 a month. I really... Uh, you know, I'm not picky and I'm probably not going to do specialized videos. It's just kind of, hey, if you like these and you want to show some appreciation beyond just liking and subscribing and you want to support me, uh, this is a way to do that. Because I'm probably not going to be monetizing any videos or having uh, merch or ads or anything along those lines. It's probably just going to be a very simple, very, you know, this is just a, a passion project for me. It's something I love doing. 
and I wanted to make an easy method for anybody that wanted to support me further to do so. So I'm going to start publicly at the end of every video, having a little splash screen up there showing the Patreon supporters that I currently have at the time of recording, and uh, so look for that too. So that should about do it. I think that should about wrap it up. I don't want to talk any more than this because it's already gone on too long. But thank you again for all your support and sticking with me and looking for rotted reviews. And I uh, look, yeah, <laughs> look for reviews coming up pretty soon. Thank you again.